Prince Raymond does not like surprises. <laughs> but I'm sure that once he gets over the initial shock of knowing that his beloved teacher, Sarah, and her sister are here to see him, well, I, I, I know that he will be back to his old self again. In the meantime... Your brother's already made his feelings known. He's sending me back to the States on the next available flight. But he was caught off guard. Yeah, I'm sure that as soon as Megan lets him know that she came along with you, well, well, he'll rescind the order. I can't help him if he doesn't want my help. As soon as Megan gets back, we're going to the airport, and then we're returning to land. I hope if Megan says the magic words to Raymond so that he will let her and her sister stay. I am more concerned with what Raymond is going to say to Megan. And there's only one way to find out. If that's you, Roland, you're wasting your time. Go back to the party and play the host. My decision's final. I want Sarah Gordon sent back home to America. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Megan! You didn't think I was going to let my sister come all this way and meet my favorite prince without me, did you? Of course, now, if you want the Gordon sisters to go home, there's nothing I can do about it. No that. one told me you'd come, too. I can't tell you how much I've missed you. Well, I'd call that a royal welcome. <gasps> Oh, my God, it's wonderful to hold you again. <laughs> I wish I could tell you how lovely you look, but then I don't have to see you to know that. You're always beautiful. Well, you haven't changed as gallant as ever. Unless, of course, you're still bent on kicking us out of the country. Is that really what you want, Raymond? Do you want us to go? Need a priest. like someone who can use a friend, which is why I'm here. Gabrielle, there's something I need to tell you. Here's what you do when you don't find the rainbows in this time. Here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't end. Don't cry. try to understand my brother deliberately kept me from knowing that Sarah had been invited to Mendora. He was trying to help you in spite of yourself. I wish I could believe that. But Roland's first and only allegiance is to himself. No, you can't stay here. All right, look. Have you said anything that I, I should know? I'm thinking of country. Not yet, sir. 
You're soon going to be crowned king. You can't possibly rule Mandora and lead your people. You can't even cope with your own blindness. Now, that's not fair. Appealing to my noblesse oblige. No, I am appealing to the man that I met in Landview. The same man who saved my life in Arizona at the cost of his own sight. And I do it all over again to keep you safe, which is why you have to return to America now. What is going on? What is happening here, Raymond? Please. I have a feeling that something is very wrong here, and if my instincts are right, don't I have a, a right to know? No, you don't. I thought you said that we had gotten close, that we could trust each other. I don't understand. Come with me. What? Just keep quiet and do as I say. Now, the palace walls aren't as thick as they seem. Now, let's go find some place where we can talk without fear of anyone listening, and then, Megan, I'll tell you everything. What happened? I think they left. Damn! Uh. What are you doing? Lie down. Lie down. You shouldn't even try to move. Yeah. You have to get your strength back, and there's no rushing that. You? Never mind who I am. Here. Drink slowly. Mm. I'm dry. I know. You're dehydrated. Mm. It's expected. Mm -hmm. No more. more. No more. More. Lay back. That's it. No, I can't. You have to rest. No. Your body needs it. Am I, sleep. am I going to have to get tough with you? I will. You're going to get better whether you like it or not. Nurse? In a way. Hey, nurses. What's that, sense of humor? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Tuck. You know so much. Shh, you'll upset yourself. So, no, no, tell me, explain. Oh. After you rest, if you don't lay down and close your eyes by yourself, I'm going to have to give you another injection. No, no make me sleep. No, no, no I don't, don't. You're such a little boy. Good gracious. Well, it's nap time, and that's just what you're going to have to do. No, 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 no. Listen, it's wrong, something. You have to stay calm. Come. Please tell me. What happened to me? Your mother called me. She told me about the yeah, accident. Yeah, I know. This is probably the biggest news story in a while. Max Holden killed in an accident. Some accident, huh? No, I don't believe in accidents either, but my, my reasons are a lot different than yours. That's what I came to tell you, Gabrielle. God hasn't forgotten you. Oh. No, he made that very clear. I was the first on his list. Gabrielle, if you'll hear me out, please. Why? You don't want to believe it, but... I think I know what you're going through. Gabrielle, if you'll pray with me, together we can ask God for guidance. I have something I would like to ask God. I have one question. Why? Why would a god of love take Max away from me on my wedding day? How could anybody, especially God, be so cruel? What can I tell you, Gabrielle? I mean, even priests are left with the old familiar phrases, God works in mysterious ways. Well, I don't like his ways. I think they are mean, cruel, vindictive, it and seems, arbitrary. It seems that way now. Oh, God. It's at times like this, when we desperately need his understanding, his, his love in our lives, that, that we, we feel the most abandoned. Gabrielle, if you'll pray with me now, I know God would listen. No, Tony. He hasn't abandoned you, Gabrielle. He's still here, waiting to help you, to give you courage, if you'll just let him into your heart. Look, you're a good man, a good priest. I'm certain a very strong fighter, but this is a round you're gonna lose. Because even if God did hear my prayers, I already know what he would say. Andy is right. Andy, Max's sister. She knows why he was taken away from me. 
I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to face the truth, but it's inevitable. Max died for me, for my sins. No, that is absurd. That is absurd. God would never let you... He would never punish you that way. You don't understand. I deserve to be punished. I am the reason that he died. When I failed to keep my promise to God, that is what killed him. I killed him. No one else. Me. Would you slip into our ball gowns, get right over to the reception? I beg your pardon, what are you doing here? Oh, forgive me for startling you, Madame Ambassador. Allow me to introduce myself. I... Oh, I know who you are. I've seen you at Prince Roland's heels from time to time. Armando, isn't it? You're so kind to remember me. Uh, I have the honor to serve Prince Roland as his private secretary. You didn't answer the question. What are you doing in my mother's room? Prince Roland wanted Mrs. Lord to look over some highly sensitive documents. I was afraid they might be lost in transit, so I delivered them personally. They await your perusal on your desk, Mrs. Lord. And now, I bid you both good night. Do you buy that? Well, I've never been a big fan of Armando's. Uh, I've known crocodiles with more sincerity, but here they are, just as he said. The question is, why did he have to deliver them when you weren't here? You know, Cassie, you are not a private investigator anymore. Think about it, Mom. If these papers are so highly sensitive, then why, did he ha why didn't he just give them to your secretary rather than just leave them on your desk? <laughs> All right, Ms. Sherlock, what's your theory? Well, I don't have one yet. But there's something strange going on in Mindora, that's for sure. Well, then why don't you just look around the place with your magnifying glass, and I want to quickly read this. We do have to get dressed, you know. I want... I oh. don't want to... Mm like a microphone. Yes. Someone is very interested in your conversations. Spying on me, the American ambassador, at my own home? Who? Three guesses. Well, there's no one on my staff. They have been screened through security. I handpicked them myself. I trust everyone. It has to be from the outside. Cassie. Armando planted that. At Prince Roland's instructions. Excuse us, please. Sure. He's taken her outside. There's no way that I can hear them. I'm afraid he's going to tell her what he suspects. I must destroy Raymond's credibility. Captain. Uh, have you seen Ambassador Lord? I know how anxious she was to be here this evening. I'll check on it right away, sir. Thank you so much for giving him something to do. I was beginning to feel as if I were under surveillance. Well, you are. Only by every envious man in the room. May I have this dance? I'm not really in the partying kind of mood, Your Highness. Please, Sarah. If this is to be your last night in Mendora, uh, allow me to send you home with some pleasant memories. If I were to set up another meeting with Raymond, it would... It won't work. I've worked with other patients who've resisted my help before, but Raymond's different. He's royalty. I can't fight that. I can sympathize. He's treated me the same way, o -o -o only more often. It's the paranoia. It's twisted his mind. By well, this very moment, he could be telling Megan the most incredible things, and there's, there's nothing I can do to stop him. Oh, forgive the cold, but it's safer to talk out here. I don't know what makes me shiver more. The night air or the things you're not telling me? Better? A little. 
Now start talking, Your Highness. Well, there are rumors about Roland. Nothing I can prove. But some of my informants tell me he's planning to unseat me. What, like a palace coup? Well, perhaps. If his other plan doesn't work. What plan? I wish I knew. He knows I'd never willingly step down and leave the country to him. The people mean too much to me. Well, you don't think that he would try and... Try to kill me? I'm sure the thought has crossed his mind. But fortunately, uh, our Constitution has a safeguard against such things. If a, if a king dies a, an unnatural or suspicious death, an election is held to choose a successor. And Roland knows that people would never vote for him. I don't understand what this has to do with me and Sarah. There's danger, Megan, to you and to Sarah if you stay. I don't know how, but I don't need my eyes to sense that Roland is somehow planning to use Sarah against me. And that's why you have to leave the country before it's too late. Your Highness, you may be used to giving orders and having them obeyed, but not this time. I'm staying. Megan... That's final, Raymond. I'm not leaving you, no matter what you say. Because I know now that if I stay in Mandora, I'm helping you, not harming you. Gabrielle, don't do this to yourself. You know you aren't responsible for Max's death. If I had taken that car and smashed it to smithereens all by myself, it would be the same as the moment I broke my vow to God. That was the moment that Max was doomed. No, no, you followed your heart, and that was the right thing to do. Now, it was obvious from the beginning that you were meant for Max. Now, I knew that from the beginning. I never doubted it. I still don't. He's dead, isn't he? What more evidence do you need? I'm sorry. You don't have the power of life and death. That's God's department, not yours. Yeah, well, that's your job. You're supposed to feel that way. No, no, it's more than my job, it's Gabrielle. It's your faith. And I am very glad for you that it sustains you. But it does not deny the fact that if I had stayed away from Max, he would be alive today. Gabrielle, I am not going to try to change your mind about that. Good. In time, you'll, you'll heal and you'll learn to forgive yourself. Maybe you can make a start tonight at the memorial service. Once you see how all those people, how Max's death has affected them, you'll realize that they don't blame you. They just share your grief, your loss, Shall I? <laughs> hey, Gabby, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, not great. Um, if you're here to talk me into going to the service, uh, sorry, can't do it. Cord Roberts, I know you work from the banner. I'm Tony Vallone. How you doing, Father? I've heard a lot about you, too. Yeah. Since you're a friend of Gabrielle's, maybe you can get her to change her mind about tonight. Well... Whether she believes it or not, it'll do her good. I plan to give it my best shot, Father. You can call me Tony. That's what my friends call me. Right, Gabrielle? If you need me, if you need to talk to me for any reason, you just call me. I'll be there. And I won't be alone. And neither will you. Gabrielle, I, uh... I really don't know what to say, except that I'm... very sorry. There's not much to say, is there? It's not gonna bring him back. Max is gone, and he took the best part of me with him. Jared will explain everything. Jared? He's your doctor. He's gone to the hospital, but he'll be right back. And when he gets back, he'll explain everything you need to know. I need to know now. Who are you? Where am I? What happened to me? You've been in an accident, and you're getting better all the time. 
and you'll get even better. Uh, trust me, Jared's a genius. He made me better once. He'll do the same for you. Made you better how? Why? So much to tell you, but now's not the time. Let me get you another sedative. No, talk, please. No, please, you must believe me. I'm only trying to help you. I know exactly how you're feeling. And I can get you through this if you'll let me. In a moment, you'll drift off to sleep. No pain, no confusion. Just peace and calm. Staunchest supporters. I mean, why would he spy on me? It's not as though I have some military secrets. If he wanted to know something, I would have told him. Do you want the opinion of an ex-private eye? <laughs> I'll take anything at the moment. Roland's using you, Mom. He's using your influence and your prestigious ambassador. And now he's worried that you're onto him. So he had the microphone planted so he could find out for sure. Oh, yes, now it's making sense. Cassie, he used me. All right, he played me for a fool, and I let him. It's just a theory, Mom. No, no, it's not a theory. It's the only explanation. He tricked me into getting Sarah here. Yes, he had no intention of having her help Raymond with his blindness. It was just an excuse. How can you be sure of that? Because when I told him that he didn't need Sarah's expertise, that there were plenty of qualified therapists in Europe, he insisted on having her, even though Raymond didn't want her. Oh, my God. Raymond must have known. Known what? What are you thinking? Raymond must have sensed that if Sarah was here, that she'd be in danger. That's why he refused her help. Why didn't I get this sooner? Cassie, we're going to have to work fast, and we're going to start tonight at the reception. We're not going to the reception. Oh, yes, we are, because if we don't show up, Roland is going to get suspicious. We're going to go there. We're going to have the time of our lives. And after the reception, I'm going to make sure that Sarah, Megan, and you are out of the country. And what about you? If you're going, I'm, if you're staying, then I'm staying. No, no, no. No, I'm the American ambassador. I've got to stay. I have enough on my mind. I don't want to worry about my daughter. Besides, besides, if something should go wrong with the escape, Megan and Sarah will need your help. But I think no, you... let's get dressed. We have a lot to do tonight. I love you for wanting to help me, but this isn't your fight. Well, then I'll make it my fight, and so will Sarah when she finds out what Roland is up to. Let her help you. Let me help you. You're well-meaning, Megan, but so naive. I know there's something that I can do. I'll go to the U.S. consulate. I'm sure that Dorian is on our side. Somehow my brother has fooled Dorian. I think she's working with him. Really? So that's why Dorian was so interested in getting Sarah here. Well, she's got her hands full with the Gordon sisters. Megan, please don't take on Dorian Lord. I won't, I won't. Not directly, at least. But you've forgotten, I'm a terrific actress. So far, I've only put my talents to use in daytime dramas. Now I can use them for something great and noble. I'm gonna help you lead your people. All we need now is the Mendora National Anthem. I may not be a citizen of Mendora, but I pledge my allegiance to everyone I care about. And that includes you. Especially you. I wasn't drafted, I volunteered, so you have no excuse but to say yes. It's my first recruit. Yes, sir. Private Gordon reporting for duty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's selfish of me, but it would be wonderful to have you here with me. Well, I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere. It's more like it. Since you're so determined to help me, there is something you can do. Oh, well, now we're getting somewhere. You can tell me what I'm missing. The view from the balcony is the most lovely in all the palace. Describe it to me. If you see it for me, it'll help me think more clearly about everything else. All right. The sky is filled with stars. I don't know which is which, but I'm sure they're all there somewhere. Pegasus, Orion, Aquarius. 
all twinkling brightly. No, twinkling, that's not doing them justice. They're glittering like jewels, like a million flawless diamonds. And do you know your diamond? <laughs> oh, do you know a woman who doesn't? <laughs> Megan, how can I let you go when you're the only one who makes me smile? You can't. Not on a night like tonight. With the moonlight dancing on the snow and the white cap peaks in the distance. Is that how you remember it? Beautiful, as always. I was talking about the view. So was I. Okay. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. I will describe this view to you every night. If you change your mind and agree to work with Sarah. Megan. Is it a deal or not? Does that answer your question? Look, Gabrielle, I didn't come here to try to cheer you up with a bunch of nice words. In fact, given our history, uh, I doubt whether you'd want to listen to me. Well, then, why are you here? For Max. Look, I, I don't know if a lot of people know this or not. In fact, maybe, maybe you do. I liked Max. He was, uh, my friend. And we had ourselves some times, girl. We had ourselves some amazing times. Yes, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, whenever things got a little crazy, a little dangerous, I knew that I could count on Max. I know he felt the same way about you. See, that's the thing. We, uh... We didn't have to talk about that kind of thing much. We both just kind of knew it. I mean, time would go by, hell, months. We'd each get into our own lives. We wouldn't talk, we wouldn't see each other. But we'd know that if, if something happened, I knew that Max would be there. Yes, he was always there. You know, uh, got a phone call this morning. And for a split second, I thought, you know, I bet that's Max. I bet he's going to say, hey, I fooled you, Cordero. <laughs> I fooled everybody. I mean, Miguel, Gabriel, we just took off. We got hitched. We'll be back from our honeymoon and... <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, I, I'm sorry, Gabriel. I, uh... I didn't come here to upset you. No, it's okay. You're telling me how you feel. And I'm glad. It's just that I have a fantasy about Max returning, too. And then I realize he, he never... Listen to me here. You, uh got people in this town, all right? And a lot of them, myself included, would truly appreciate it if you could come to the memorial service. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'm up to it. I think I can understand that. But if you can find the strength, well, it mean a lot to me personally, and, uh, and Max, too, I think. Well, I can't promise anything, but I'll see how I feel when the time comes, okay? All you can do is your best. Take care of yourself. 
Not just for Max, not just for yourself, but uh, for your little boy. so long. Where have you been? Well, I'll let Raymond answer that one. Sarah, I, I owe you an apology. Can you forgive me for allowing my pride to come between our friendship and the good of my country? Please. You don't owe me yes. an apology. Yes, I do. Now, Megan told me how much you sacrificed in your personal life to come here to, to help me. And what do I do? I offer you the back of my hand. Well, that was more than pride. It was just plain rude. However, if it's not too late to reconsider, I'd be grateful for any help you can give me. In fact, I would uh, like to begin working with you again as soon as possible. What did you say to him? I'll tell you later. Just say yes. Oh, Miss Gordon, can you forgive this stubborn prince and give me a second chance? Of course. I'd be happy to stay and mentor and work with you. But I have to give you fair warning. The going gets tough, and uh, you don't like all the work I'm giving you. You can't pull rank on me again and just send me out of the country. I swear to you, Sarah, I will never pull rank on you again. Good. Except for now. Now. <laughs> when I insist that you dance with me. It would be my pleasure. Megan, on behalf of the people of Mendora, I thank you. There are no thanks necessary. Oh, don't, don't be shy, Megan. You, you obviously changed Raymond's mind about Sarah. Our country will be forever in your debt. I didn't do it for Mandora, and I didn't do it for you. I did it for Raymond. There's Miss, nothing I wouldn't do for him. Miss Gordon, may I have this dance? Of course, boss. Right now, I feel like dancing all night. You're not oh, strong enough to get out of bed. Say, say, I gotta leave. No, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you, lie down. No. no. Explain everything to me, then. I can't tell you anything but what I told you before. You were in an accident, an automobile accident. Automobile? It's okay if you don't remember. You'll get your memory back. You start to remember the important things. All the good and none of the bad. Gabrielle. Who? I have to talk to her. I have to call her. I have to no call more her talk. Have to no talk. more going I away. To, You're I going have, to lie down, I have, I have, close your eyes, and go I, to sleep. I, 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 and that's an order. Ariel. Ariel. That's it. Ariel. Let the sedative do its work. Ariel. Avril. Avril. Excuse me, Klaus. Can I borrow my sister for a moment? Of course. Thank you. I hope you don't want to dance with me. No, no, this is a little something a little more serious than that. What's wrong? When you came back with Raymond, you were all smiles. I thought everything had been resolved. Yeah, well, sir, things are not as they appear in Andorra, not by a long shot. Meaning? Raymond took me out on the balcony for a little chat. He said, 
says that there is a power struggle taking place right under our noses, behind these fancy curtains and gilded mirrors. He's absolutely positive that no one is planning a coup. That's why he didn't want you and me to come here. He was afraid we'd get caught in crossfire. Now, of course, I told him that we would do everything we could to help him and that we would certainly not abandon him to his brother's schemes. Sarah, what? Don't you believe what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just not sure what to believe. While you were out with Raymond, I was dancing with Roland, and he had plenty to say, too. About his brother? Mm -hmm. And he was very convincing. Apparently, Raymond's getting more and more paranoid every day. He keeps imagining that his enemies all around him, planning coups and revolutions. I, that's what Dorian was saying all along. So where does that leave us? We have Raymond's version, and we have Roland's version. I guess we have to decide who's telling the truth. And if we make the wrong choice, we're not only going to be endangering ourselves, but an entire nation. <laughs> well, I'll have to remember that one, Herr Magnuson. Klaus, <laughs> kindly refill the gentleman's glass. Uh, forgive me, Your Highness, but how did you know that... that his glass was empty? Easy. Herr Magnuson's glass is always empty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but when in doubt, go with a sense of humor. I can't argue with that. <coughs> the crown rests easily on Raymond's head. I think that's where it belongs. Does that mean you're going to help me help him? I'm certainly not going to let you risk your life alone. Your Highness, not now, Herman. Since my brother has done us the service of, of making sure that Sarah Gordon is going to stay in Mendora, we must decide our next step. You may have to change your plans. I have bad news. Remember, as far as Roland's concerned, we're his dearest, dearest friends. Not a hint that we're onto anything. <laughs> that snake asked me to dance with him. I don't You're going to dance with him? You're going to smile? Hey, Ambassador, Lord and her daughter Cassie, Your Highness. Thank you for including us, Your Highness. It's a beautiful party. Well, I don't need his 2020 vision to know that it's even more beautiful now. <laughs> you are so charming. Why didn't I remember? Well, maybe I am an acquired taste. The best things usually are. Tell me, is there such a thing as ladies' choice in your country? Well, there is, but I promised this dance to make it. However, if you're still interested, may I take the next one with you? I would be honored. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, ladies. Clumps? All right. As soon as I can get Megan and Sarah, somewhere privately. I'll warn them of the dangers without alerting Roland. Do you think that they'll agree to leave the country? <laughs> if they value their lives, yes. Everything is already in the works. And if we're lucky, you will be escorting Sarah and Megan across the border tonight. Impossible. Your orders were simple, Captain. Any idiot could have followed them. I give you my word, sir. The listening device was planted into Ambassador Lord's rooms, just as you ordered. Well, why do you think she discovered it? While I was monitoring her conversation with her daughter, they suddenly fell silent, and the radio began playing loudly. Well, that is no proof, but we can't afford to take any chances with her. The minute that she finds she's being duped, well, she, she'll... Well, it would just be a matter of time before she would uncover my whole plan. We've got to act fast. For yourself, he's sleeping peacefully. Yeah. His eyes are closed, it's unconscious, but I wouldn't call this a peaceful sleep. How long has he been like this? Like what? Come on, Lily, I know when you're holding something back. What happened while I was gone? Nothing, really. He was in and out of sleep, so I gave him some more sedative. Did he talk? Did he say anything? How did you... What did he say, Lily? A name, I guess. What name? Gabrielle, he wanted to call her, but... He went back to sleep before I could find out who she is. I know who she is, and I know why he needs to call her. The bride wore black? Her name is Gabrielle Medina, from Landview. She was married to a Tamarian man named Max Holden, but before the wedding could take place, he was killed in a tragic accident. His body burned beyond recognition. God, Jared, you don't think... Think? I know. So do you, Lily. Look at the photo in the crash. That's the same car that swerved to avoid you the night you were jogging and crashed and burned. But it's not the same. 
It says here the body was found. Burned beyond recognition. It must have been someone else in the car, someone who wasn't supposed to be there. Someone who's been mistaken for Max Holden. Max Holden. At last we know his name. And now we have to do one thing more for him. What are you doing? What else? I'm going to call this Gabrielle Medina and tell her that her fiancé is very much alive. Jared, no, I can't let you do that. Keep busy. That's, that's what I've got to do. One thing at a time, and then everything else will fall into place. Place is a big star. No wonder you're depressed. People can't live like this. Zeniness is next to godliness, right? It's okay. Just hang up your clothes. One step at a time. Wash your hair. Wash your face. You'll feel so much... Tonight, Larry and Balky are trapped in their own apartment when a dinner guest decides to take refuge there on Perfect Strangers. And then Connie pads up for a big date on Just the Ten of Us. Monday on The Home Show, singer Marilyn McCoo invites you to her beautiful home.